precious saints. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on into the house. Come on into the house. God, as you come in tonight, you notice I'm a little more quiet tonight because I'm just in the presence of God. I truly am feeling the, the mood. I'm feeling the mood. And I'm not going to be able to hit all these share buttons tonight if my hands are not functioning. I feel the presence. I feel the presence. And as you come in, as you come in, please take the posture of a worshiper tonight. Take the posture of a worshiper. Glory to God. God bless you, Bishop and Mother Brigman. God bless you. We're so honored to have you on. So honored to share this time with you. We love you. We love you to life. Thank God for you. Appreciate you so much. As you come in, saints of God, please take the posture of a worshiper. Glory to God. Please hit the share button. I feel the glory even now. I'll tell you, I feel the glory even now. I feel the glory even now, even now, even now, even now, even now. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Even now. Yes, God. 
Yes, God. I feel you, Lord. I feel you. I feel you, Lord. I feel you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. God bless you, Sister Mary. God bless you. Oh, Shaitan Ma. Hey. Glory to God. Glory to God. All the way from New Zealand. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. And we definitely will pray for him. We definitely will pray for him. We definitely will pray for him. Come on, let's get yourself let's get yourself in the posture of a worship right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let's let's posture ourselves as we go to God in prayer. There are needs. Yes, God. Sister Mary, let me tell you something. Even though you are miles away, you are never more closer than the presence of the Lord. God is with you. My, 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 my. I want to help you. I want to help you. God is with you. He's with you. I need for you to feel him. Yeah, more than a person, God is with you. God will keep you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. God will keep you. God will keep you. He'll keep you. If you want to be kept, God will keep you. He'll soothe you. Yeah, I feel the shifting. I feel the shifting. I feel the shifting. I feel the shifting. I feel the shift. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands right where you are. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. This is a solemn time. This is a solemn time. This is a holy moment. This is a holy moment. Yay! This is a holy moment. The presence of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is here. God is with us. He's visiting with us right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Lift your hands into the glory right where you are. I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're going through. Lift your hands into the glory right now. Oh, God. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. We're going to ask him something in a minute. We're going to ask him something in a minute. But right now, I need for you just to worship the Lord. I need for you just to love on him and let him comfort you. Let him comfort you. Come on, love on him. Feel the presence. Feel the warmth around you. Feel the glory saturated and set upon you. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Whatever needs you may have. You heard the needs from Sister Mary you have needs that need to be met tonight if you have things that god needs to address and you need for the the saints the body of christ to come into agreement with you tonight i need for you to put that into the comments right with boldness right with boldness that i need god to do this but write it with expectancy yes god shit mama glory to god glory glory to god do it with expectancy do it with heat. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I see you, brother. I see you. Yes, Lord. Yes, we're going to keep praying for Brother Donald. Yes, we are. Yes, Lord. and his wife. Yes, God. Yes, God. We're going to keep. Yes, Lord. I see that his niece and nephew. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, yeah. We're going to believe God for him against that plague, against that COVID. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on. Come on, saints. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you, Pastor Major. God bless you. Yes, God. God bless you, sis. God bless you. Y'all come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here and, and just feel this, feel this glory. Feel this rainbow. Come on. Feel the Shekinah as it drops. Come on. This is serious time. God promised something tonight. God promised something tonight. Do not miss your moment. God bless you, mama. I see you, my mama. I see you. God bless you, mama. Don't miss your moment. Don't miss your God moment. Don't miss your God moment. This is why 
This is the moment. This is the moment that God has preordained for you. Come on, lift your hands right where you are. Begin to open your mouth. Yes, Shatama. Begin to open your mouth right where you are and to declare unto the Lord how good he is, how much you love him, how great he is, how wonderful he is, how splendid he is. Glory to God. How much you love him, how much you need him, how much you care for him. Yeah, how mighty he is, how majestic he is. Come on, how splendid he is. Come on, how regal, how royal he is. Glory to God, glory to God. Come on, I feel the glory. I say, I feel the glory. I feel somebody's life about to change tonight. I feel somebody's load about to be lifted tonight. I feel burdens about to be removed tonight. Shackles about to be taken off tonight. Glory to God. Come on, glory to God, glory to God. Come on, press on in. Come on, press up. Yes, Shadama. Glory to God. Glory. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. No matter the need, no matter how great, it's no match for a supernatural, all power having God. Glory to God. Whatever the need is, He is able. I need to tell you that, Saints. He's able. I need to tell you that tonight. He's able. He's able. He's able. Glory to God. I need to read you this. I need to read you this. Glory. Shetamama. Oh, Shama. Hey, God. Yes, God. I need to read you this. I need to read you this. God told me to read this tonight and then pray. Because there are things on your mind, there are things within your spirit, in your motion that's running and that's separating you from your faith, from your spirit, man. And God said to remind you tonight that there is a word, there is a plan, there is a place that he has already set for you. Psalm 91 says these words, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. Woo. He is my refuge and my fortress. Woo. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy, thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror that flieth by night, nor for the arrow that flieth at day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at the noonday. A thousand shall fall, oh glory to God, at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But the word of the Lord says, but it shall not come nigh thee. Glory to God. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There is no evil. There shall no evil befall thee. Saints, get this in your spirit. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up, glory to God, in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou, thou, you shall tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. And therefore I will deliver him. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Come on, somebody say his name. Come on, somebody say his name. Somebody just love his name. He shall call upon me. That's what we're going to do. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Yeah, time out. Oh, glory to God. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. 
Saints of God, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. Let's let's pray. Let's talk to the Lord. Glory to God. 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 I feel that all inside of me. I feel the assurance of that even before I ask it anything. All inside me. I feel. I feel the confidence that comes with that word, with that 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 declaration from God. I feel it right now. Come on. I feel it. Yay. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. And I feel assured that that word is for me. You got to know it's for you. Before we pray, before we pray, I need for you to know that God allowed that word to be recited tonight because he wanted you to know that's your word. Yes, God, that's that's a word for you tonight. Somebody who got fear, somebody who's scared, somebody who's worried, somebody who's down, who's depressed, somebody who's separated, who feels abandoned. That's your word. That's your word. Who's hurting, who's sick. Come on, come on. Who's feeling melancholy. That's your word. That's your word. Who feels the oppression of the enemy. That is a word from the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Father, in the blessed name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord, just for the privilege to be able to call upon your name. We thank you for the right you have given us to be able to get through the veil, to get into that secret place, to get into that holy of holies. Oh, God, to do that rich presence of the Shekinah, God, to, to be saturated with you, God. Oh, God, thank you tonight. Thank you, God, tonight, God, for, for the honor in which you have bestowed upon us, God. Not because we deserve it, God, but because you loved us, God. Not because we're good, but because you loved us, God. Not because we've done everything right, just because you love this God. And because you love this God, you made a way, you made a way for us to be able to get to where you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for your word tonight, God. Thank you for your word that there is a place that we can go to. A secret place that we can run and we can hide to God. Not hide out of fear, but hide in safety, God. Thank you, Lord, that there's a place that under the shadow of the Almighty God, where we have our refuge and we have our fortress, God. That's talking about our safety, God. We can run to you and find safety, Lord, and then find a defense, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, God, that when we get to you, God, in that place that as we're connected to you God we thank you Lord that we are safe God we're not only saved God but we're also safe God safe from the hands of the enemy safe God from the plans of the enemy safe from wrongful emotion thank you Lord God safe God from ungodly soul ties God Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that we are safe, God, from anything that keeps us out of the place that you have designed for us to be, God. We bless you tonight, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God, because you said, God, that you would cover us. Lord, I thank you, Lord. As we bow now, as we humble ourselves, God, into the position, the prostrate position of prayer, God, Lord, we ask you to cover us, God to cover our lives, to cover our mind, to cover our emotions, God, to cover our weaknesses, God, to cover our brokenness, God. Glory to God. Cover all of us, God. Cover all the thoughts, that, Lord, that are not like you and, and the ones that are like you, God. Cover us, God, until you finish forming us, God. Cover us, God. Cover us. Cover us, God. Cover us, God, so the enemy can't see us, God. Cover us, God. Cover us, God, until, until the hands of the wicked ones can't get at us, God. Cover us. Cover us, God. The Bible says you will cover us under your wings, God. We thank you. And Lord, we declare right now, we can speak against and we cast out the spirit of fear in these changing times. We cast out the spirit of fear as you are moving and as we are moving and as things 
are moving towards us, God. We know that there's a lot of unknown things, a lot of unknown factors, new walks and new realities that we have to go through, God. And sometimes it's those new steps, God, that we fear the most because they're unknown. But the Bible says that perfect love casted out all fear, God. And we thank you, Lord God, now. We thank you, Lord, for your love that is shed abroad in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us power. You didn't give us a spirit of fear, but a love, peace, and power and a sound mind. Lord, keep our minds, Lord. Keep our minds from falling prey to the spirit of fear. Keep our soul, God, from falling victim, God, to the spirit of fear, God. Keep our emotions, God in check, God, and not fall into the spirit of fear. Even though COVID is doing something, God, keep us keep us, God, keep us, God. We may have suffered loss. We may have suffered um, certain types of calamities, God, but Lord, we thank you that you are a keeper. Thank you that you are a keeper. We thank you, Lord, that you're not a sometime keeper, but you'll keep us, God. And whatever you keep will, will be kept, God. Thank you, Lord, that we are one of those, Lord, and we're not afraid. We're not afraid. We stand boldly tonight. We we kneel boldly tonight. We lift our hands boldly tonight. We cry out boldly tonight in the presence of Almighty God. And we say thank you, Lord. We say yes to you, God, because the spirit of joy is now upon us, God. We bless you, God, tonight. We thank you, Lord, that the word of God teaches us, God, that under your protection, God, that no evil shall befall us, God. In this time, in this season, we declare that no evil assignment, no evil intent, no evil trap, no evil of any kind shall be all the people of God. Lord, I, I, I pray against the spirit of infirmity right now. For those that are sick, for those that are bound, for those that are crippled, for those that are deformed, for those that are maimed of any kind, for those who have external as well as internal types of ailments, God. Lord, I speak against that. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I declare healing. I declare wholeness right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for victory, God. For those who are lying down to be able to sit up, for those who are sitting up, be able to get up, for those who are already standing, be able to walk, for those who can walk, be able to run, God, for those who can run, begin to shout. <laughs> glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Yes, Shetama, glory to God, glory to God. Thank you, Lord, that no plague of any name, COVID 19, Delta, Omega, of any name, HIV, hepatitis, leukemia, cancer of any kind, hypertension, no name shall befall us. Come nigh our dwelling, none. Lord, loose your angels tonight. Loose your angels over us, God. Loose your ministry angels right now. You're protecting angels to watch over us, to guard over us, God. To watch us as we go to and fro. Watch our homes, God. Lord, even in our dreams, watch our, watch our inner man. Watch our subconscious man. Watch that man to keep him safe, God. When we close our eyes, Lord, thank you, Lord. Guard us on the outside as well as on the inside. Lord, we bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord, for delivering us. Bless you, Lord, for setting us on high. God, we honor you tonight, God. We praise you, God, that in these changing times, we praise and serve a changeless God. For the word of God says you are the same. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, God. And we honor you that you remain steadfast. Yes, God. We honor you, God, that you remain unchangeable, God. Thank you, Lord, God. You have the same power today that you had on the day of creation, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have the same virtue able to flow free today as you had with the woman with the issue of blood, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You change not, God. You have power over hell, power over the grave, power over the enemy, God. So, Lord, exercise that in the name, in your name, God, Lord. Loose your power, yes, God, Lord, into the earth realm, God, throughout the body of Christ right now, Lord, and cancel every demonic stronghold that has set up and became a root, Lord, in 
into your children, God. Lord, we break every root, the root of fear. We break the root of pride, the root of jealousy. Oh, God, the root of anxiety, God. The root of tradition, the root of religion. We break it. We break it. We break it right now. We break it. We break it, God. We break it, God. As you are shifting us. Yes, said time mama. As you are shifting us into that perfect man, into that new man, into this new season, God. Lord, Lord, remove every stumbling block that would hinder us, Lord, and get into where you have called us to be. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Lord, help us. Help us, God. Help us, God. Help those who have been discouraged. Help those who have been broken. Help us, God, who feel like all is lost. There's no hope and I can't see my way out, God. Remind them in the word, God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, remind us in your word, God, glory to God, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, God. Lord, help us, God, to remind, be reminded, God, that you said you would keep our minds in perfect peace if we would keep our minds stayed on you. Glory to God. Help us, God. Oh, God, you promised us, God, you promised us in your word that you would give us peace that passes all understanding, God. Lord, we receive it right now, God. Even in the midst of a storm, we receive peace. Even in the midst of an ailment, we receive peace. Even in the midst of some type of loss, we receive peace. Even in facing the unknown, God, we receive peace, God. Oh, God, even in the midst of our dungeon, of our prison, we receive peace right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout, I receive my peace. Yes, shut up, mama. I receive my peace. I receive my peace. Lord, help us. Help us, God. If you give us peace that passes all understanding, it means, God, you can you have the power to give us, to help us know what can't be known, God. When we look for ways of understanding and logic in the ways of man, Lord, give us a knowledge. Give us an information. Give us revelation to help us know what cannot be known, God. Give us wisdom. Give us strategy, God. Help us reveal to us in time. The things that eternity already knows, God. Lord, open our spirits, not our eyes. Open our spirits to be able to receive everything, every word, Lord. Every hint, God. Oh, God, every bit of guidance, God, that you have for us, God. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do it. Do it, God. Do it, God, before somebody jumps off the ledge. Do it now, God, before it's too late, God. Do it for the backslider, God. Do it for those who walked away. Do it for those who've abandoned their post. Do it for those who feel like quitting and sitting down. Do it now. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it for the preacher. Do it for the pastor. Do it for the apostle. Do it for the evangelist. Do it. Do it for, for all of them, God. Do it for the fivefold ministry, God. Lord, Lord, keep on going and do it for the deacon, the trustee. Do it for the usher, Lord. Do it for every lay person in the body of Christ. Do it, God. Do it. Yes, yes, I'm out. She can't, I'm out. Oh, shut up, my though. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory. Do it now. Do it now. Oh, God, help us. Help us. Help us, Lord. We put our trust in you, God. We put our trust in you, God, during this season. We put our trust in you, Lord, during this season of change. We put our trust in you, God, right now. And we walk with confidence in your plan and in your provision. God, we honor you with our praise. We honor you with our worship. We stand boldly in the face, God, of a taunting, taunting enemy, uh, of an accusing enemy. But we stand boldly and we declare like the Shunammite woman said, all is well. Yes, God, we declare even in the midst of things that are out of our control, we declare all is well, God. We take a stand in the spirit. We, we bring it to manifest in the time that all is well. Somebody need to shout that right now. That all is well. 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 
with my soul. All is well in my home. All is well in my mind. All is well in my emotions. All is well in my family. All is well on my job. All is well in my community. Come on, somebody's talking about all is well. Oh God, all is well. Yes, God. It's well. It's well. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. All is well. It's well. It is 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 well. I need for you to recite that the power of life and death is in your tongue. Shout out, all is well. Yes, God. Make the devil a liar. Shout out, all is well. Make your enemies um, be mistaken. All is well. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's well. It's well. That's why I'm praising you, God. It's all, all is well. That's why I'm giving you glory. All is well. That's why we raising our voice, God, because all is well. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Yes, God. 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 All is well. I felt the body shift. I felt the body shift. I felt the body shift. All is well. I felt somebody's spirit lead. Yeah. Right now in Jesus' name. All is well. All. All is well. All is well. Yeah, from coast to coast. Uh, from South Carolina to New Zealand to Texas to Missouri. All across this land. All up the East Coast and Connecticut, Maine, wherever. All is well. Glory to God. Glory to God. All is well. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need you to type it in. Yeah, I see you. I see you. All is well. All is well. All is well. That's it, saints. That's it, saints. All is well. He's changing the times. Saints of God, I'm here to tell you tonight that God is changing the times. He's changing the times. He's changing the time. He's changing the time. If he's changing the time, then whatever type of time you're having is about to change. If the seasons are changing, glory, I'm way ahead of myself. I'm way ahead of myself. But if the seasons are changing, then whatever is attached to the old season, it's about to go away. I don't care what you have been going through. I don't care what you're going through right now. But I'm here to declare to you by the power of God that your season is changing. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Your season's changing. Your season's changing. Your season's changing. Yes, God. Woo! Shit, I don't know Kenya na mama. Shit, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, all is well. And we thank God for you tonight, Lord. We bless you. We honor you for the victory. That resides within the body. We bless you for the glory that you have given to us to saturate us. Shema. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I can't, I can't, I can't move out. To we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on. In, in a world of selfish people, we thank you, Lord. In a world of greedy people, we thank you, Lord. In the world, Lord, of people who just think of themselves, God, we thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you. You've already been so good to us. Yes, God. Yes, God. And for all that you have done, you're doing and you will do. We give you glory. We give you praise. We honor you. We bless you. We lift you up. We extol you right now, God. For you alone are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the glory. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the sun. Your name is worthy to be praise. Oh God, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move. But I thank God tonight for those who are on. And I declare for those who are on. This doesn't happen often with white. But I'm telling you, I feel the spirit. I hear the word of the Lord saying that your season is about to shift in an upward mobility. For those who are on tonight who just by faith believe that, I need for you to just type in, I receive my shift. 
I haven't even talked the word yet. I just need to give my faith ahead of time. Just type in, I received my shift. God wants to know, if, can you trust him in advance? Can you trust him Be, even before you, you get it? I receive my shift. Glory to God. We got to quit. We got to quit. And now my glory to God. Glory to God. That's it, Sister Mary. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, Brother Barry. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sister Myers, God bless you. So glad you're on. God bless you. Glory to God. I receive my ship. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. That's it, saints. That's it, saints. That's it, saints. That's it, saints. That's it. That's it, saints. That's it, saints. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, Mother Rain, God bless you. God bless you. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Receive it. And what you are receiving is a God gift. What you are receiving is an eternal gift, some, something that, that time can't take away from you. What you're receiving right now is something that cannot be stolen by a person. Glory to God. God himself is gifting you tonight. God himself is giving you something, something you couldn't work for, something you couldn't buy at the store. But because you was in place, because you was in position, because you just cried out and believed by faith, God said, I'm just going to give you a shift. I'm going to shift you tonight. I'm going to prepare, prepare to receive a new level. Glory to God. Glory to God. I got to quit. Oh, God, I feel this thing. Thank you, Jesus. I got to get to the word. Woo! Hey. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. Mm. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I've had to use that name a whole lot. But it works every time in Jesus' name. I've had to use it when I couldn't say nothing else. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When I didn't have a word to articulate how I felt. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When I didn't know how I was going to get through the next moment. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Saints of God, saints of God, saints of God, we love you tonight. We love you tonight. If you haven't done so, I hope you have. I hope you have. But if you haven't done so, please hit the share button. Whew. If you haven't done so, please, please hit the share button. Please hit it and post it to your wall. Post it to your groups. Post it to your friends, to your family. Post it to your enemies. Glory to God. Let's get them in the glory of God. Let's get them saved and saturated tonight because God is going to use you to let his light shine through this social media stream to change a generation and save a world. And we bless you and we honor you tonight. We thank God for you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. <laughs> I feel so good tonight, saints. I don't even have the words to describe how I actually feel. I don't have the words to describe what is actually going on inside me. But for all of you that are on, I want to take the time just to acknowledge those who are on. I see Minister Barber, Minister Legberry Barber. I see Lady White, my wife. I see Mother Rain, God bless you. I see Mother Brigman, Bishop Brigman, Minister Leg Angelina. I see um, Pastor Sarah Midget, uh, Sister Mary um, Davis. Um, uh, Sister Esther Myers, God bless you. God bless you. I see all of you on so far. And uh, Sister Marie Hayden, God bless you. God bless you. I've seen, I, I see if I miss you, it's not because I'm trying to. Um, there's, there's, a, there's so many, there's so many, um, names up here. I cannot get you, get you all, but I see my mama. She's on here. God bless you. God bless you. Listen to me saying, let's get into the word. Let's get into the word tonight while, the, while, while, while the anointing is fresh and hot. I don't know about y'all. Who? Who? Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm. There is a prophetic move of God that is going on, saints. There is a divine shifting. I don't. I don't know if you can sense this. I. Okay, Lord. I don't know if you can sense this, but I hope you can. <laughs> 
He comes to give hope in the times where times seem to be hopeless. He comes to come to bring stability in unstable times. He, he's coming um, each year. All throughout the year, his seasons are set, his cycles are set, and, and we are fastly approaching um, one of the greatest times the world can be in. And I feel that presence. I feel the shifting. The Bible says that all of creation is groaning with earnest expectation for the full manifestation. Glory to God. I sit, I'm one of those. One of those groaning with expectation. I'm one of those. I know you are too. Because we have not seen yet all the things that God has designed for us. But I'm here to tell you I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I know you're ready. I know you're ready. So come on. Let's stay plugged in. Let's get your Bibles tonight. I want to just take a little bit of time. It's a little bit of time just to go through. I may not get to finish and that's okay. And that's, and that's all right if I don't. I, I, I want to take a little time just to go through the word of God tonight, just to go through the word, to be able to talk about this, this word that God has put into my spirit. He has put into my spirit, and I've got to be able to do what is right by him by at least sharing a portion of this word because God is shifting a us into a new season for the next um for today and for sunday we'll be dealing with the shifting of a new season part one will be tonight part two will be sunday we're talking about the shifting the shifting of a new season i want you to get your bibles and turn with me to psalm 81 we're going to be looking at verses 6 through 10 psalm 81 we're going to be looking at verses 6 through 10 glory to god get you get your bibles get your bibles get your bibles saints of god we are so excited about having you with us we're so excited about connecting with you i feel a great joy when i get to be in your presence i feel such a great great comfort to know that we are um doing word together, doing intercessory together, that we are just doing God together. Amen. It blesses me. I pray to God is blessing you as well. Um, Psalm 81, verse 6 through 10. The Bible says these words here. It says, I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the, mm, my God. Ooh, okay, excuse me, saints. God, I feel this thing on me still. Uh, their hands were set free from the basket. In your distress, you called, and I rescued you. I answered you out of a thundercloud. This is from the NIV. I tested you at the water of Meribah. Hear me, my people, and I will warn you. If you would only listen to me, Israel, you shall have no foreign God among you. You shall not worship any God other than me. Verse 10 says, I am the Lord, your God, who brought you up out of Egypt, brought you up out of Egypt. Man, I hope I get to that point tonight. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. And, and, and as I said before, we're going to talk about the shifting of a new season because we have to be biblically learning and not just emotionally um, adept to this thing we call church or uh, Christianity or to our believer's life. There's more to us than just jumping and shouting and uh, charismatic um, um, ways. There's some things that God wants us to know. And if God is going to bring us into that place and God is going to have a prepared place for prepared people, not just heaven, but even in the earth realm, when he brings something down to us, then we have got to understand how his cycles and season and how he works so that we can get in line with the rhythm of heaven. That's the, been the problem, I think, for so many years with these churches. We've been jumping to our beat, missing the rhythm and the cadence of heaven. We have our own mind of what we think 
church and religion and Christianity and what God is supposed to be like. Never taken into account that God has already spoken to us into his in his word what his way is, what his rhythm is, what his system is, what, what his cadence is. But every time the body gets into the cadence, into the rhythmic flow of heaven, you know your life shifts. You know the impact of revelation hits your life. It's not can we get there, it's can we stay there. It's can we stay there. The Bible says there are time to come when men will not endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine is an end result of a culmination or a plethora of information. It's what those little bitty pieces you put together, how it ends up and what you believe at the end of that. And I'm here to tell you that God wants you to know something, to be aware of his oncoming approaching times. He doesn't want to show up to a place that's designed for you and him and he be the only one there. He's not coming just by himself. He's coming with with armful. He's coming with windows open. He's coming with 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 the. D desires and dreams. So we have got to learn how to prepare ourselves for his cycles, for his shiftings, for his times. Um, let's look at the word shift. Glory to God. Let's 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 look at let's look at the word shift, if you will. I, I, I'm navigating between two pages here. Um, let's let's look at the word shift. And let's see if we can understand what God is doing. Number one. On definition time, we're looking at a shift is a change in position, a change in direction, or a change in tendency. I may not finish this tonight, and that's okay if I don't. If God is shifting, if there's a shifting of a new season, if he's shifting the seasons, we're going to come to that in a minute and let you understand what that is. But let's first understand what a shift is. A shift is a change in position. We're not talking about direction now. Direction comes next. It's a change in direction because the position only matters if it's being positioned or changed in the right direction. And then the shift that God brings, it changes tendencies. It changes our inclinations. It changes our disposition. It changes our mental attitude. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? See, what shift is happening now is doesn't just change your emotion. It doesn't just change your zip code. It just it doesn't just change your 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 bank statement. For so long, we've been prophesying houses, money and cars, wives and husbands, not knowing that there are things greater to be had than money, um, houses and cars, women and men. Come on. Not saying we don't want a nice house, not saying we don't want money, not saying we don't desire to have a mate. No, but there are things. Glory to God. There are things when you've been broke, God has been able to do some great things in your life. When you didn't have a mate, God was still able to get some glory into your life. So we cannot be so shallow minded just to think that all God has for us are things that are carnal. So the shift that God has, glory to God, the shift that God has not only changes your positions, let's shout there real quick, because whatever position you have found yourself in, in this, in this leaving season, whatever position, no matter how bad, how broken, how bruised, how down you may have been, the season, if God is shifting the season, then the position that you were in or even in now is changing even while you're listening because God has a date a time uh, for manifestation from glory to the earth realm and all of creation has to line up with heaven's intent so he's going to change your position so I declare to you by the understanding of the word of God that your position that you have been complaining about your position that you should have been praising God through your position that has been a, 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 a albatross or a weight, something um, that's sucked in the life out of you, that position is shifting. And then the direction is shifting. Because, because in this season gone by, we have been moved from one end of the spectrum to the next. 
We have been listening to everybody else but God. We've been listening to um, Dr. Jen, Dr. Fauci, CDC, Dr. All. Everybody else got the blueprint plan for what's happening in the earth but God. Glory to God. So and so we've been moved, we've been tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. We have been on a roller coaster ride and it ended up throwing the world, the bodies of Christ, even the body of Christ, even off of course and out of the wrong in the wrong direction. But God is saying, when I shift the seasons, I'm going to take you and I'm going to shift your direction. See, this is something, this is something so good. When you lock into the God move, when God moves, inside that God move is a internal or spiritual GPS that he implants inside of the saints and it turns us back on course. See, you got your self off track. You got yourself in the wrong direction. But when you link up to God in his seasons, in his cycles, at the timing of heaven, God, um, because he's so gracious, he then gives you the privilege of being redirected into the place he has purpose for you to be, just so that you and I won't miss him when he shows up. Glory to God. Glory to God. He's going to change your position. He's going to change your direction. And then God is going to change your tendencies. Wait, watch this. Because there was something inside of us that drew us to that faraway place in the first place. There was an inclination. We were inclined to do this based on something. We was predisposed based on either a generational curse or our own likes and dislikes. We we had our own mental attitude towards a certain thing, likes and dislikes, lust, lasciviousness, things such as that. But God said, when I shift this season, see, I'm not shifting your season. I'm shifting the season because the seasons belong to God. Ugh. The seasons belong to God. They are on a cycle that cannot be stopped. So in this unstoppable cycle, God said, I care more for you that I'm going to spend time drawing closer to you. That's why I told you in the word to draw nigh or near unto me and I will draw near to you. I told you in, in Malachi, he, he, he said, return unto me and I will return unto you because I have have to change your inclination so that you won't be in the wrong direction and be in the, up in the wrong position. I got to change what you were predisposed to, which means I've got to cancel some curses that are upon your life so that you won't be doing the things like your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, and all them. I got to change some things. Glory to God. And then I got to change some of your mental attitudes. But some of us just have bad attitudes. Glory to God. Come on, come on. Some of us just have the wrong attitude. We snap too fast. We prejudge too fast. We kill people with our thoughts and words too quick. Sometimes we give up too fast. Your mental attitude. Well, I don't see how it's going to happen. I quit. Wrong mental attitude. You want to walk by your sight and not by faith. He said, but in this shifting, I'm going to change your mental attitude because watch this. When I change your position and I change your direction and my spirit becomes more revealed inside you, something in, in you will feel the presence of me and you will just feel me. If you feel me, then you'll feel like me. Glory to God, which means your mental attitude will be like mine. Shift. Shift. It's not only that. It's not only that, but it's also it's also the supernatural act of putting one thing in place of another. Let's go here real quick here. I got to get this. A shift is also the supernatural act of putting one thing in the place of another or changing the place of a person or thing. Now, now, now let me help you. Uh, uh, for those who can't read that small writing, we're talking about the shifting of a new season. We're talking about a God shift. We're talking about God doing something for man and to man and 
ultimately with man when we get together. So it's a supernatural act. Let me stop there real quick because we as the body, we are smart, we're intellectual, we are we are we are logistic, or logical, we have so much going for us here, but we have to remember this is the church. It was built upon kingdom revelation which means it's supernatural he promised that he would have signs and wonders that would identify the markings of the believing church so the so so, so this is a supernatural act a shift is not something that we can be manipulated by the means and the ways and the strengths and the might of man. If God is shifting, that means that God is acting outside of the natural realm that's supernatural. This is a supernatural act. And if God is acting, then the super has all power. Glory to God. This is a supernatural act of putting one thing in the place of another. Now watch this. We're talking about shifting seasons. It's, it, we're talking about God preferring a, another season, a new season, a different season for you, a better season over the season you have just come out of or just or coming out of. He, God himself is going to put one thing in place of another. Now watch this. Glory to God. Shifting also means he's not only going to take the thing and put it in the place, but he's also going to change the place. Look what it says. It's a super act, supernatural act of putting one thing in the place of another or changing the place. Yes, shut up. Glory to God. See, see, God is God. He's supernatural, which means that if, if, if God wants to, he don't have to change the people. He can change the place. Come on. Glory to God. He can change the place of a person or the place of a thing. So the good news is for some of us tonight is that God has a, a design. He has a design to shift your atmosphere, to shift your region, to shift your reality into a reality that's more God-centric. Not COVID-centric, not fear-centric, not CDC-centric, not denominational-centric, no, 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 not man-made doctrine-centric, into a more God-centric atmosphere or God-centric reality. And watch this. And if you feel that I'm stuck. Glory to God. If you feel that I, that you have been in a darkened dungeon prison place, then the God that we serve has the ability to not only shift you, but shift the place. Yes, God. Yes, God. If you can't get out of the place, God knows how to change the place. Shift, shift. Yeah. The supernatural act of putting one thing in the place of another or changing the place. Some demons have been laughing at you because they think you are eternally stuck. Well, they use the wrong word because we serve an eternal God. Yes, God. And our God sits high. He rules and super rules. And when he desires and deems necessary, he don't have to take you out of it. He can turn it into a better place for you. Glory to God. So right where you are sitting, right where some of us are, God is about to do a turnaround. Glory to God. God is about to take some of our nasty environments, some of our negative environments. God is about to take some of the, the weakened stuff, the rotten stuff, and change the place. Can you give God glory that God is about to change you or change your place? Can you give God praise right now that something is about to shift? Glory to God. Changing the person or changing the place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, oh God. So now we understand. We understand that as we go to this word here, that if, if we're going to look at a season, we're looking at a season. Excuse me, saints. So we, we, we saw what shift meant. So now let's look at the season. I'm going to go through this a little bit more later on, but I'm going to give you something to hold on to for right now. A season is a fit or a suitable time. Okay, I'm going to come into that some more. So in a minute, just give me a second. A season um, for the ABCs that are coming out the gate is a fit or suitable time. It is God's convenient time. 
Yes, God. Yes, God. It is God's usual time. It is God's appointed time. Let me say it again. A season. It is a fit. It's God's fit time. It is God's suitable time. It's what suits God to do from his throne to his people in the earth. It suits him. It suits him to bless you. It suits him to shift you. It suits him to elevate you. It just blesses God to bless us. That's what grace was. Grace was not uh, a focus more on, we, we talk about grace from our position, but grace is not, should not be understood from the realm of the receiver. Grace should be understood from the realm of the giver because grace really is nothing more than God wanting to um, bless his people. Him wanting to express himself in a gracious way. So it suited him that his son should die. It suited him that he should suffer. It suited him that this is your time to be shifted into a God season. It's God's convenient time. It's God's convenient time. It's it's God's usual time because if you if you study like the way we have studied, we understand that God's seasons are cycles. They're cyclic. They are on a divine clock that the world is trying to play catch up to. And when the world tries to mimic God's cycles, we always fall short and it becomes some type of bastardized um, misrepresentation. This is God's usual time. There are seven major feasts on God's calendar. What's coming up now, Rosh Hashanah, um, Yom Kippur, and the Feast of Tabernacles, and uh, Shemini Atzeret, those are major and, 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 the, and the Feast of Tabernacles is the main one. You have two before and one after, but it centers around that. Passover, Pentecost, Feast of Tabernacles. These are, come during the same cycles God put in his word when they are to be observed. It tells the month, it tells the date. It tells the month, it tells the date. It tells who to observe it. It tells you, the strangers, it tells everybody. It tells you how long to do it for all generations. It tells you forever. Watch this. It is God's usual season, his usual time. It is his appointed time. Remember that it's his appointed time, which means God appointed this place and this time. Time is going to be a funny word we're going to get to in a minute. God appointed. God set. God, if you appoint somebody something, then I'm giving you directions. If I appoint you to a position, then I give you authority. I give you power. I give you rights. I give you legalities along with the place you're going to be because I've given you something. I give you an appointment to put you in power in the place. So if God has a time or a season that has been appointed in that season are certain rights or certain powers or certain divine legalities that we as a body can get a hold of. I hope this is helping you already. And I haven't even scratched the surface yet. Man, this is good to me already. Seasons. Now, here's one thing I want you to understand. Let me put this on, on the board. Seasons have transitioning power. Seasons have transitioning power. This is powerful. This is going to help you. This is going to help you. Seasons have transitioning power. Let me help you. Transition is not the past. A transition is not the present. A transition is from one state, place, or time to the another. It's the transportation. It's the in-between. It's that transition. It's that power to move. It's, it's the movement in between that is called transition. If you are not where you used to be, but you're still not where God has appointed for you to be, then you right now are in divine transition. Amen, somebody. So let me help you with seasons then. Seasons having transitioning power. If you look at it, spring without being told and can never be stopped 
all by itself on a God clock and a God counter will automatically turn itself or transition itself into summer. Summer on a God clock and a God calendar all by itself, whether you like it or not, will in time, in season, turn itself, transition itself into fall. So will fall into winter and winter back into spring. Why? Because they are God set. Okay, you got to catch this. Seasons are God set. You hear me? If you, if God is shifting your season, then he is shifting you to a set that he set. Oh my. If he's shifting your season or if his season is shifting for you, then he's shifting based on something that was set before we knew it was set. It's hard to beat something you don't see coming, which means that God preset that's the precept. He preset the move. He preset the setting place before he let the world know it was about to be set. So the enemy couldn't stop it because it was preset. Your haters, your demons that plague you cannot stop you from getting to this place because before you knew it was set, God already set it. Seasons are God set. Okay. They are on a divine clock for manifestation. Let me help you. If you are looking at seasons, you know it's season because something out about that season, even without them talking, lets you know based on their manifesting. They show you something. They reveal something to you. You know it's fall because the leaves cry out, look at me. I'm changing colors and I'm falling on the ground. The, the temperature begins to drop in most places. Not South Carolina. It's still hot. There's blue blazes up here. But, but the seasons are on a divine clock set for manifestation, which means if the natural seasons have to reveal themselves based on manifestation, then God's divine seasons work the same way because the earth replicates eternity. The earth replicates what happened in heaven. Let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So whatever we see naturally, God was doing first supernaturally. So these seasons are God set. They're on a divine clock for manifestation, which means that if you are in tune and you are in time and you are in rhythm and you're in the season that God has set, then you are on a God transitioning track for manifestation, which means that God has already placed manifestation in the season for you. Watch this. And because you're in the season of manifestation, you can't help but manifest yourself. Yes, God. Yes, God. Which means that in your past season, you may have not been very fruitful. You may have not been very productive. But now that I'm in the synchronized stepping of heaven, I'm in the season of God. As the season manifests, I am tied, connected to the season, then I begin to manifest too because we become one. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I pray this is helping somebody tonight because I'm about to blow up over here. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let me get this banner off here real quick here. Amen. All right. Let's, let's look at this now. Let's look at this. All right, seasons. Now, this is something I got to put on the board. Let me put this on the board. All right, this is good. I'm going to help you. For those who are fearful, for those who are unknown about God's seasons, let me, let me show you something. Seasons are not changed by time. Seasons are changed by God. Okay, catch this. Seasons are not changed by time. Seasons are changed by God. Okay. In the month of September, around the 22nd, I think somewhere like that, we will move into fall, the fall season. Okay. Most of the world, most of the world will have a serious drop in temperature, barometric pressure. Pressure. You'll see all types of um, 
um, frost and dew and, and potential ice and things such as that, that will show the changing of the signs and times. OK, but here in the east, in the in, in the southern east, the south up here, we're still having some crucially hot weather. It'll still be fall, but it won't feel like fall. It's not fall because of how it feels. Seasons are not changed based on the calendar clock. Seasons are changed because they are set by God. Now, if that's the case, if we know naturally a season has changed, whether your climate, your region responds the same as another climate, it is so because it's set. That means that when God has determined to bless you by shifting the season of your life, they're not bound by time. It doesn't matter how old you are, time. It doesn't matter how long you was unsaved, time. It doesn't matter how bad you acted and how long you ran from God, time. Seasons are changed not by time. They're changed by God. It doesn't matter how little you know of Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. Doesn't matter. Time. Seasons are changed by God. So no matter how long ignorance has you, your season is still changing. It no, no matter how little money you have in the bank, your season is still changing. No matter how negative and how bad you used to be, I declare your season are still changing because seasons are changed by God. Isn't that good news? Glory to God. Seasons are changed by God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So let's look at this thing here. Let's look at this. Oh, man, let's look at this. I, I, I feel this. I feel this right here. This, 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 this is good to me. Let's look now. So we, we, we looked at some things. We looked at um, the shifting understanding. We looked at uh, a beginning season understanding. That's a beginning season understanding. Um, and then let's look now at time. Let's look at time because you have to understand they all work together. They are all synonymous in a package. They all are in a, a, a gift bag together. So time. So time now, saying to God, the biblical view of time is a little bit different. Uh, than what we normally think about time, okay? Um, the biblical view of time, it is less concerned with linear years, okay? Um, linear years, that's, that's, that's the chronology. That's where we get chronos time, okay? Um, uh, it is with cycles of events. It, see, that don't do with cycles of events, okay? Chronos times does with linear years, okay? They track all stuff that happened in a line. Watch this. Let, let me help you. Let, 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 let me make this. Okay, so there's Chronos time and then there's Kairos time. We've done this before, so I'm, um, I'm asking y'all just give us some fresh meat on this right here so we can see this better. Chronos time is, 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 is linear time. It is, the, it is the seconds, the minutes, the hours, um, the days, the weeks, the months, you know, the years, the decades, you know, centennials, you know, on and on and on, millennia. Those are the, the trackable time. Okay. Kairos times have to do with God's eternal plan. Okay. When you're dealing with Kairos time, there's two divisions of time. It's not even really fair to call Kairos a time. But for the purpose of, of, of us understanding the, the principle of how it works, we're going to use them both in the respects of time. Kairos is trackable time, linear time, has a point, has a start, has an ending, has a line. It does not deviate from one to the other. Kairos time um, has more to do and has all to do with God's eternal plan um, then being placed and manifested and introduced inside of linear time. We're going to come to that in just one second to help you out here. Chronos time or chronology time, regular man's time, is sequential time. It is what sets our clocks and calendars. Okay? It can be quantified. It can be measured. It can be measured. It's, okay? If it's linear, it can be measured. Moving out of the past towards a determined future. Now, catch this. Linear time is moving out of the past. Is moving past, moving, uh, um, moving um, from the past toward a determined future. Now, Chronos time is locked into a straight line. 
it has no freedom. Chronos time can never change. Watch this. It is, it is from your past until your present, until your future, until there's no more. And that's all it's ever going to be. It is a, a system of bound, of bondage, because once you're in it, you never gain. Wait a minute. And if you do gain, while you're gaining, you're still losing. Okay, let, let, let me help you. It's a cycle. It's, it's um, Chronos time is, is locked in a cycle of loss. Okay, I want you to catch this. I'm going to show you how good God is. To understand time, to understand Chronos time, is to understand that Chronos time is locked um, in a cycle of loss. It makes sense to me. I say it like this. The more Chronos time you experience, the less Chronos time you have left. The older you get, the less life you have left to live. <laughs> If you live to be 70 and 80 and 90 years old, we thank God for the longevity of Kronos time. But Kronos time, while you are gaining it, you are losing. So now the more Kronos you experience, the less of it you have left. That's why you have to redeem the times for the days are evil. You have to make the best of the time you have. Work while the day, because night comes when no man can work. See, if you don't take the best advantage of the daytime, your young time, your youth, your, your war time, the time comes when you can't do. Now you're too old. Now you're too broke. Now you're too whatever. Else, because linear time takes no prisoners. It's a cycle that's locked in loss. As you gain it, you lose more. Okay? But Kairos... Kairos time is different. Kairos time is a time when things um, come to a head. Since it's a supernatural um, division of time, if you would say, or a supernatural manifestation that becomes a part of time at the grace of God's behest, it means that the more of Kairos I get, the more of Kairos I can get. Kronos says the more of it I get, the less of it I have left to get. But when I'm dealing with Kairos time, I'm dealing with God's time. I'm dealing with, with God's moment because remember, God is a spirit. He's not a man. He's a spirit. And in everything that we deal with God, it has to be dealt with in the spiritual realm. There's no timetable in the spiritual realm. So whatever God has for me in the spiritual realm it is based on the amount um, that he has divided um, based on himself. So if God has time for me, it's based on the vastness of God himself. And since God has no beginning, my time has no beginning. Since God, God has no ending, my time has no ending. So whatever God has for you in Cairo's time, the more of it you get, the more of it you still can get. That's why you can go from grace to grace. That's Kairos time. Come on, come on now. You can go from glory to glory. That's Kairos because the more of God you get, there's still more of God to still behold. Glory to God. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. Kairos is when God now says, I want to show the earth what I have already preset, preordained, and pre-willed. Yeah, yeah. By the time we see it in the earth realm, it is nothing more than a culmination or coming to the head or manifestation of the divine supernatural will of God that was set before the earth was even laid. Y'all hear me? All right. So whatever blessing you are getting in Kairos was preset before there was a you. <laughs> We're just catching up in time the will of God that happened before time. Kairos is a time when things come to a head. It's God's time that's requiring decisive action. When you understand Kairos, Kairos, and remember now, it's preset, it's pre willed, it's pre placed, it's preordained. 
which means if, if you and I are going to be a part of God's Kairos moments, Kairos places, Kairos season, then it, it is a system of time that requires decisive action from us. See, in Kronos, you don't have to do anything. You're going to be in it no matter what. You're going to experience it. You're going to get its values and its losses even if you do nothing. There are people who have been in comas for 10 and 15 years, have done nothing but breathe mechanical air, and they have functioned and they have benefited from Kronos time just like you and me because the more they gain, the more they lost. No better, no worse. But Kairos time is a time that has will, it has manifestation, it has stuff preset into it, glory to God. So when you now get this, if you get in, in God's Kairos time, then what you have to understand, it is a system of time that requires decisive action because you have to now figure out the place. That's revelation. You have to decide Am I going to move speedily to get into the place that God has preset? And this is why the enemy comes to fight you to stay out of the cycles and seasons and, 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 and festivals of God because he knows that if he can keep you lazy, keep you um, ignorant, keep you unlearned, keep you um, just slow. To miss the time because the seasons of time, the times of God, they're there, they are from a prophetic realm. And you understand the prophetic and the anointing of God deals with specific times, specific. See, so, so you, you, you gotta be careful when people start giving you these prophetic words. Well, I really don't know who I'm talking to, and, and I really don't know really what you're going to. Then you need to sit down because the Lord, the God that I know, knows how to speak to me based on what I'm going through. And when you're prophesying from general terms, you're not prophesying, you're fishing. <laughs> Because you can get on TV and say, I feel that if somebody's going through something, everybody going through something. I feel that someone's got pain in the side. There's a million people got pains in the side. That's not prophetic. That's fishing. When you're dealing with God's timing, you're dealing with decisive action, specific action. You hear me? So you have to, have to make up in your mind that if God is shifting the seasons or shifting um, my season, then I've got to make some decisive actions. I have got to be willing to move when God says move, move to the place where God has for me to be, even if it's a, if, 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 if it's not according to my denomination, even if it's not according to how I was brought up, even if it's against quote unquote my religion. Come on, come on. We, we we have missed so many blessings because our pastor and all them didn't say, well, that ain't how I heard it. Well, what did the Bible say? What did the Bible say? To get God's Kairos moment requires decisive action. You have got to stop guessing and start knowing. Faith comes by hearing. Faith is not a, is not a guessing. It's not a feeling. It's a knowing. It's a knowing. The size of it, God, Kairos is God's appointed time, and it's God's appointed time to act. It's just not a time. It's a time that God has set for you to act. Kairos is called, in a nutshell, the right time. You need to write this. It is the right time. You can be wrong any other time, but when you're in Kairos, you're at the right time. You're always on the right time. When you show up in Kairos, it's always the right time. Could have been late being born, late for dinner, late for the job, late for whatever. But when you show up to God's Kairos moments, it's always the right time. Watch this. And when you show up at the right time, it's the time for right to become part of you. He changes the wrong steppings and makes right be a part of you. Kairos time it is it's from the Hebrew word F, E-T-H, uh, F. It, 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 it means uh, it's a time that, that's always. It is a derivative of God himself because as he always was and always will be, he has no birthday. Kairos has no birthday. It has no beginning. It, he has no ending. I said it before, he, Kairos has no ending. So Kairos time is and always. It is 
and a n always. That's what it is. It's an always. When you're talking about Kairos, whether you live in this earth or not, Kairos will still be a part of the earth realm because Kairos is a part of God. Kairos is God. Kairos is of the supernatural. It is of heaven. And by the time we see it in earth realm, all we're seeing is what God has preordained in the supernatural, in the eternal down here. So it's an always. It's an always cycle. It's an always season. Glory to God. Which means I have always manifestation. I got always gifts and always blessings. Watch this. Kairos time, the word F means it's a certain time. Okay. Oh, Lord, Lord. If it's a certain time, then it's a place of certainty. It's a place where I'm not doubtful. It's a place where I know beyond a shadow of a doubt. See, in Kronos time, we fear what we don't know. In Kronos time, we don't move because we're not sure. But when it comes to Cairo's time, because it has been preset in the mind of God, the Bible says that he reveals his thoughts and wills into the earth realm. So God leaves nothing to guesswork. He reveals everything to his chosen people so that there'll be no doubts. There'll be a certain or a certainty for you. So what I'm telling to you right now is that in this season, God is about to put back in to you a state of certainty. See, you're not really sure if I could, not really sure if I should. I, I don't know if we're able to. That's uncertainty. But when you move in Kairos moments, God puts inside you a state of certainty. I can do this. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. When I'm in Kairos moments, I'm walking in a state of certainty. Somebody shout certainty because that's what's going to change your life. It's going to give you the unction to move when you need to move certainty. It's going to give you the ability to do what you hadn't been doing certainty. It's going to give you the ability to dream what you thought was undreamable certainty to believe what you thought was unbelievable certainty and to attain what you thought was unattainable. Now certainty. When you move into Cairo's time, God places inside the believer, those who made decisive actions to get in the place that he has preset and pre-willed and pre-purposed in, in time. He puts inside you a certainty. I don't know how God is going to do it, but I am certain that he's about to change my life. I don't know which way he's going to do it up or down, right or left, but I believe in my spirit that he is going to bless me like never before. Didn't his word say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man all those things that he has prepared? Well, when did he prepare them? Not in time, in Kairos. Glory to God. He prepared them in his mind in eternity in the supernatural, but he has pre-planned, pre-set, pre-ordained and pre-positioned purpose a place for you to have the manifestation certainty. That's Kairos. Ah, I'm certain God is going to bring me out. When I get in the glory of God, see, see, when I get in the glory of God, I know what I don't supposed to know. See, to, to know what I shouldn't know, to know what I don't know is God's gift to man. I, I, I'm not a doctor. I, I didn't go to medical school. I am a doctor, but I didn't go to medical school. So I don't have that type of medical license. But, but under the glory, under the Kairos moment of God, I know God's going to heal. In the name of Jesus, even though I'm I'm not I'm not a certified public accountant and, and I don't work for for JP and all them, you know. But under the Kairos moment, God has the power. I know God's gonna take my little and make it straight to make a whole lot. He's gonna pay my bills. He's gonna work this thing out here. I'm not gonna lose my house, lose my car. No, I'm certain that God will work it out. This is what happens. When you allow God to bring you to a place to where you understand the shifting of the seasons. I got nowhere near close to where I wanted to get to. I'm only at the very tip of the beginning. Glory to God. Very tip of the beginning. So we're going to have to finish this at another time. But saints of God, I am is so excited 
to be able to come through this, to be able to do this with you. I hope this is blessing you. I hope this is changing your life because Kairos moment is a continual state of being. Watch this. I got to give you one before I leave. I got to give you one before I leave. If Kairos isn't always, if Kairos is a certain or a certainty, then Kairos is also a continual state of being. Since it is not a linear uh, a, a linear state or a cycle of loss like Kronos time is, then it's Kairos time, which is which is built in birth uh, in the realm of supernatural seeing God. OK, he always what it's a it's a continual state of being. That means that whatever it is, it's continued to be all of that. Watch this. Whatever it makes me, whatever it does to me, whatever it's doing to me. It continues to keep me being. See, we've lost so much dealing with Kronos time. We've lost so much dealing with, 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 with the systems of this world. But as you try to learn to be obedient to the systems of heaven, glory to God. It becomes your continual state of being. That means that I'm not going to be happy one day and depressed the next. I'm in a continual state of being. I'm not going to be fearful one day and ferocious the next day. I'm in a continual state of being. Glory to God. Y'all catch this? Y'all catch this? Glory to God. Continual state of being. Continual state of being. Continual state of being. I want to pray with you tonight. I want to pray with you tonight. I want to pray with you tonight. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with somebody who said, I feel the shifting. I sense the shifting in my life. The walls of my reality are coming down. What I thought always was. And I sense God doing something new in my life. I have been fighting this shift. I have been afraid of the new. But saints of God, the shift is here. The shift is here. God has got a new position, a new place. And for some of you to become a new person in this shift, in this season, what we're about to experience in this month, this month of September, what we're about to experience is going to change the fabric of what life is for you. Because God has preset a place and a time, hallelujah, a place and a time that predates Earth's existence with your name on it. And he said, I need for you to take some decisive actions. I'm not going to miss it. I missed them before. I missed moments, but I'm not going to miss it this time. Whatever you say, Lord, to do, I'm going to do. When you say show up, I'm going to show up. When you say so, according to your word, I'm going to do this. Saints, we've tried Kronos all of our life. Let's at least give Kairos a chance. Let's give Kairos a chance. He wants to bless you. He has it for you today. It's not here. You got to move. The season's shifting. But who's going to submit? Who's here going to say, I submit to the shift? Who's out there right now that says, I'm, I'm submitting to the shift? Lord, shift my life. Shift me into a place. Shift me into a position. Shift me into a new reality. Into a new culture. Shift me as a person. Come on, come on. Come on, who can say that I'm submitting to the shift? I would like to see somebody say I'm submitting to a shift. God wants to hear you say the world needs to see that the saints of God I am submitting to the shift 
my season will not always be dark because he's shifting the season. I will not always be crying because he's shifting the season. God bless you, sister. God bless you. This will not always be a struggle. He's shifting the season. I will not always be a wanting to be used but stuck on the shelf. He's shifting the season. He's shifting your season. He's shifting the season. He's bringing the shift with the oncoming season. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He's shifting the season. And along with this season, he's shifting you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you as we are going through this together. I want to pray with you as that God has got us by the hand, by with angelic host leading us into that place. I want to pray that we enjoy this journey together. That we stay steadfast and guarded from, from the ability to forfeit because you can't lose. But we don't want to forfeit our place. Glory to God. No, no, no. Stay sensitive to the spirit because he's shifted. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come right now thanking you, first of all, for this timeshare. I thank you, Lord God, for your children, for your disciples, for your sons of God that came and, and listened, your daughters that came and listened earnestly, the expectation to hear from you, God. Thank you, Lord, that we have postured ourselves, God, to submit to the shifting of the season. Hey, glory to God. Father, as we are positioned in this position, your word teaches us, God, that you are creating a new constant state of being. As you are blessing us now, Lord, let it be our state of being. As we are covered now, let it be our new state of being. As we are sheltered now, as we are encouraged now, as we are uplifted now, let it be our new state of being. Because we realize, God, that in a small matter of chronos time, Kairos is going to manifest into our lives. We're about to have a God moment that will change our life for the rest of our life. Oh, God, thank you that we have lived long enough to see this place, to see this position. Thank you, Lord, that we have survived hell, survived loss, survived tears, abandonment, just for a time such as this. So that by your hand, by your grace, you can elevate what's been knocked down. Shut up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who said, this is my time. This is my season. And I will not miss it. I will not miss it. Now, thank you for them and their victory all of us as the body of Christ. And I decree it to be the best season of their life up to this point. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love you, saints. We love you, saints, here at the House of God Christian Church. On behalf of our overseer, Bishop William L. Brigman. Glory to God. Mother Brigman, Lady White, and myself, we come together, we stand and say, we love you. We are so proud to share this moment with you. We're so glad that you trust God to come listen and trust the words you hear. I'm honored for this time and presence. I love you to life. And I can't wait to see how good good is going to be for you. I can't wait to see how your life handles the shift. We love you. Listen to me, saints. Sunday, for those who can be here in the house of God, Christian Church, if you're close by, we're continuing this, this same lesson. Glory to God, because Rosh Hashanah starts on the 7th and the 8th of September. And then we move right into Yom Kippur the week after that. And we have got something specially great planned this year. We've got a word coming in Yom Kippur 
from a powerhouse woman of God from Missouri that's going to bless us like never before. It's the season, Satan. It's strange to the natural world. It's the seasons. It's the cycles. It's the rhythm of heaven. It's the cadence of the king. Glory to God. We love you. We bless you. Until we come together again. Until God blesses us with each other's presence. May heaven smile upon you. May the spirit of God be with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good night, saints.